Hello everyone, welcome to Han's Garage. It's been a while since I last updated my video and if you've been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I've been working on this E36 M3 project for a long time. And if you are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now because I've got so many great videos coming up real soon. And of course the E36 engine rebuild from the start, from the beginning, everything, nitty gritty detail, I'm going to show you guys all of it with the proper tools. Anyways, I want to talk about the risk of buying engines off of eBay because you never know what's wrong with them. You never know if they were actually installed properly and you never know if they're actually going to work. And you never know if you're actually going to have to spend more money on top of what you already pay for in order to get it to work. So I wanted to make sure that everything else inside was okay. So I started taking things apart and I'm glad that I did because I found out the camshafts were misaligned and because of that, Two of the intake valves were bent, and these are not usable. Even though these are shiny and brand new, they are not usable. So I'm going to show you guys how to take those valves off of the head cylinder from the older one to get the good ones, and then put the good ones into the new head cylinder where the two new valves are bent. And you don't even need proper tools. And let me show you. Let's get to it right now. Let's get to it right now. Yeah. Alright, before I take out the valve, let me show you guys the close-up. So this is how it will be installed when it's installed in the cylinder head. And what you're doing is you're going to compress the spring so that the valve will come out like this. And then you're going to grab your magnet and you have to grab these links. Now these links, they come apart like that. And if you take a closer look, I'm going to put these links back. Let me, see, let me just put one back and you can see how the bottom side is thinner than the top portion so the top portion is thicker than the bottom portion and that's how it stays in place when the spring is compressed or when the spring is loaded so you compress the spring oh sorry you compress the spring it will be like this much realistically and then you come with a magnet grab the links and then your valve would be free just like that alright so in order for me to compress the spring I don't have a compressor and this is a temporary solution for me and I'm not telling you guys to do this method for all your valves if you're uninstalling your valves no this is just a temporary thing for me because I didn't want to wait for a tool and I didn't want to buy a tool because I didn't have to take out all, all of my valves. So what you need is the 11 millimeter socket with the ratchet and the older cylinder head camshaft cap. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to flip. So usually you install it like this, but I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to fit this 18 millimeter socket which is just long enough and big enough for me to compress two springs on each side at the same time so it's allowing me to compress this two springs and then I'm able to take up two valves at the same time which is actually really easy so let me show you guys how to do that right now alright so first I'm going to place the 18 millimeter socket in the middle And the cap, and I'm going to screw on and I'm going to start tightening it. See the spring being compressed little by little. All right. 
keep on pressing. Just like that, and I can push out the valve and take it out. And it should be free like this.